Welcome to Circle Jump Part 12. In this installment, we're going to take our settings that we've already created to enable sound, music, and ads, and we're going to create a save system for them so that when you quit the game, the next time you run it, those settings that you chose persist and you don't have to change them again every time you run the game. All right, let's get started. The first thing we need to do is we need to define our settings file where we're going to store the settings and we'll just call that settings.save and then we can define how we're going to do that. So let's scroll down here to the bottom of the settings script and we're going to define our two functions. Save settings which is going to have us open the file open the settings file in file.write mode and we're going to store three variables in there. We're going to store enable sound enable music and enable ads. And then load settings is just going to do the opposite. Okay, so we just open the file if it exists and read those vars in. And I'm going to call self.enableAds so that we will call the setter here and actually show or hide the ad banner as appropriate. And then we can call in ready. We'll call load settings. And then we need to make sure that when we click set enable ads, we save that. And then the same thing over on our screens, when we change the sound or the music value, we need to tell settings to save them again. And then the last problem we're going to have is when the game first starts, it loads the settings, but the state of the buttons won't be correct. It'll have the default texture in there so even though sound is off it'll be showing us the sound on button and so we need to in our register buttons when we go through and parse all the buttons to connect their pressed signal we can also set the texture or the text uh, appropriately so we need to match the button name and depending on which one it is set the right values let's a little space here. So if it's the ads button, then we're going to say if enable ads is on, then the button text should be disable ads. Otherwise it should be enable ads. If it's the sound button, then we need to set the button value like we did down here button dot texture normal is the enable sound setting and same with music all right let's try this out I'm gonna go into my settings and I'm gonna disable sound Right, so when I play, I've got no sound. Then I'm going to quit, and I'm going to run the game again. And now if I go into settings, I should show sound is disabled. But now I can turn it on. Right, if I disable the ads and quit, when I come back in, the button should prompt me to enable ads. So now we can store those settings and you don't have to reset them every time you play the game. The other thing I've added now is an about screen, which you reach from the title screen. So on the title screen, I added a new button called about. 
and I linked it up just the same way we did all the other buttons. And in the script for screens, that about button, clicking that about button will take you to the about screen. And the about screen looks like this. So I've just added a text edit and a new home button at the bottom. And if you've never used text edit before, we haven't changed the settings very much except to enable BB code and put the text in there so that, I'll expand it, we can link in an image and a couple of URLs to take people to the source code because I, when people get this off the App Store, I want them to find that it's a tutorial game and that they can go and you know see, get the source code and see how the game is made. And then we also have our link here to the license information, which is required if you're using Godot, and we've linked that in the source code. And in order to get those URLs to work, you just need to connect the meta clicked signal and you can see that now what that does is call os.shellopen on whatever the URL data was. And so now when we run the program we'll see we can click on the about button. Here comes that page and if you click for example on circle jump source it will have the local OS open the browser. So this will work on the phone just as well as it works on the desktop. This tutorial is part of my new Godot Recipes website. The goal is to collect all the best tips and lessons to help make you a better Godot developer. If you like this video, I hope you'll go and check out the site. And make sure to hit subscribe so you'll be notified whenever I release new videos. Thanks for watching.